don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell welcome back to sahara football so it's not all doom and gloom we have to be honest it's not all doom and gloom for the ghana black stars it's unfortunate we couldn't qualify with two games left and we're hoping uh, that we would be able to qualify uh, with two games left but unfortunately sudan had other ideas and uh, the warnings uh, that were made after that game here at the cape coast sports stadium have lived up uh, to it and they have sought a revenge uh, they beat uh, ghana uh, with literally the last kick of the game 1-0 and uh, deservedly um, they, they they got what they were looking for a win against the ghana black stars as usual i am your host uh, selassie fiawi subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so we're going to look at the player ratings of this game uh, the black stars are players as i usually do in this game versus sudan and i have to be honest it wasn't a great game uh, to watch it wasn't a game that uh, really will be in the memories of many people for that long in terms of its entertainment uh, but it was a game that needed only one thing especially from the black stars that is a draw a draw would have been enough for ghana to see it themselves in the afcon uh, qualifiers and um, following the footsteps of senegal and uh, also algeria who secured qualification yesterday but uh, sudan started uh, the game poorer the black stars uh, were better than sudan in the first 15 minutes uh, but they couldn't uh, make that count uh, there were few opportunities in this game the game was generally lethargic and i think the heat uh, played a part in it 36 degrees celsius was the temperature there in sudan khartoum at the al hilal stadium and the black stars players uh, were not used to high hot temperatures are like that it showed in the way they played and uh, the way they distributed their football it wasn't uh, the best of football though um, uh, the starting lineup was as follows and um, fatal Daudab came in uh, for the suspended richard ofori in general there were five changes made by coach ck akono fatal Dauda for the suspended richard ofori many people are thinking lawrence atizigi uh, would be the one to play that role but unfortunately um, atizigi he was not caught up i think that shambolic performance versus mali has dented his black stars chances at the right back position was where i was a bit worried but it was given to nicholas opoku uh, it wasn't the best most of the attacks from the sudanese side uh, and it started from that side um, john boy uh, baba rahman uh, alexander jiku uh, free aqua and um, tarik fosu jeffrey schlop wakasu ayu and Caleb Ekuban. In all, five changes were made from the team that played Sudan at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. And these are my thoughts on their performances. So, with the goalkeeper, um, uh, Fatal Daud, I would say he didn't do much wrong um, uh, when he was called upon. He made the necessary saves, especially in the 27th minute or so. It was a one on one opportunity uh, where he stopped that shot from going through into the back of the net. Easily could have been Sudan's opening goal. Uh, he was okay at the back i wouldn't say uh, performance was the best about give him a six over ten rating uh, the goal not many keepers could have done much about that kind of goal so fatal doubt that did himself the world of good uh, could be called up once again uh, to the black stars a uh, right back um, i don't think that was the place to put nicolas opoku christopher nete barring uh, the, the news that he was injured should have been in there but it's really hard uh, playing back-to-back -back games uh, like this uh, five days after i think it was enough recovery time but christopher Nete was not in the black stars and um, starting lineup for this game and i was thinking he would continue after such a great day he went off in the first game i think injury owing to that uh, was the problem but christopher Nete was really needed at the right back position and my my goodness nicolas Supoku was not good at the right back position i'll give him a five over ten a rating on that uh, game um baba rahman oh i didn't like the way baba rahman played. he was run ragged uh, in the game uh, four over ten for me um, he was uh, one of the lowest performers i think the sudanese exploited him in so many ways and i think baba rahman um uh, today wasn't his day on on uh, i think thursday he played much better than today uh, but baba rahman uh, was not the best today four over ten rating 
uh, for me. In the me middle of the defense was uh, John Boy. Uh, John Boy, um, I'll give him a 5 over 10 rating as well. From the first game in which he was much more composed in that defensive role in the center of defense with Alexander Chiku. Um, I don't think this was one of his brighter performances. Uh, he was um, also uh, dribbled past a couple of times by the Sudanese strikers and attackers and uh, he, it was not a defensive line of solidity uh, that we were used to especially following that first game at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. He gets a 5 out of 10 for me. Alexander Jiku did not complete the game. He went off injured and I have to say the heat must have been crazy and uh, it was showing because they had to take a water break at the half time of half time. Um, so they had to take a water break. Alexander Jiku also was not convincing at the back for me today. It was not the greatest of performances, but chances were few and far between. Uh, so in essence, as a defender, he didn't do too bad as well. I'll give him six out of ten. Also coming in was a free aqua. One of uh, the few performers who did well for me. He bumped forward on occasion and partnered uh, with Mubra Aqua Kasu in midfield. It wasn't the great greatest of partnerships but a free aqua he was okay um, he was in midfield uh, with uh, Mubra Wakasu and you would move at some point in time he bumped forward into the penalty box and almost uh, got a penalty after he was tripped down there but it was too soft uh, for the referee to give Tariq Fosu, Tariq Fosu, he was sent on through in goal by Mubra Kwakasu in the first half. I should have gotten onto the end of that ball. That could have been 1 0 for Ghana, but the goalkeeper was the sweeper keeper today and he was able to come out just in time to stop Tariq Fosu from getting onto the end of that ball. In general, his play was not impressive for me. I don't think he was the best today in the first game as well he wasn't great uh, so great i have to say and uh, today also he was lacking in terms of attack uh, the attack for both teams was not the best i have to be honest it, it was a tired sort of performance uh, from uh, both teams um, and the weather conditions as i keep saying played a part in that so Tariq fosu gets a six out of ten from me. Uh, Jeffrey Schlupp, um, he was involved in this game for the first time playing for Ghana. I think uh, since his call up in 2019 uh, by coach uh, Kwesia Pia. And um, Jeffrey Schlupp did not impress me. Um, I didn't see him initiating attacks as frequently as I would have thought he would. I didn't see him involved in play going for it as much. Uh, he was not influential in the game and I think he gets a 5 out of 10 uh, from Mubarakwa Kasu, as ever, a hard, tough tackling midfielder, um, showed his strength throughout the game. Got a yellow card uh, for too much overexertion, as he tends to do sometimes. Um, he gets tends to go over the top. His free kicks uh, were also not that great, but for one in the second half, uh, which was on target, uh, but the goalkeeper was up to it, despite him moving into another direction. I think Mubarakwa Kasu um, was not as effective as we know him to be he gets a six out of ten uh, from me and jordan are you jordan are you leading the line um, for the black stars he didn't actually lead the line he was playing in that withdrawn position sort of like a number 10 and it wasn't the best position for him i have to be honest jordan are you was ineffective he caught his shot i think two shots on target um, from that free kick in the second half and in the first half as well Either in the second half, at the start of the second half, in the 51st minute, if I'm not mistaken, he got uh, that uh, shot on target for the Black Stars. And uh, uh, we thought that could be the start of something great. Uh, but he led uh, the team today. Unfortunately, unfortunately for him and the Ghana Black Stars, uh, they, were, they were, could not capitalize and they could not... Um, capitalize on that chance they could not win this game and uh, him playing in that withdrawn position uh, in my opinion was not the best for him and finally Kalebe Kuban uh, Kalebe Kuban also played not so well he was uh, a person who was fouled most times in the first half a drawer of <laughs> fouls uh, from the Sudanese side just to frustrate him he had a few chances here and there I'll give him a 5 out of 10 Kalebe Kuban in this game it was in general not a great performance uh, by the Ghanaian players John Aintree came on Joseph Edu also came on uh, but not enough time for them to influence themselves 
into the game. So now the Black Stars have it all to do. They have to play Sao Tome and Principe in South Africa in the next games in March. Um, and we are hoping that they can secure qualification with those two qualifier games left. And it's frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. We all have to do the mathematics. What if this? What if that? This, this, that. But it is what it is. The Black Stars of Ghana tend to do that to us sometimes. Hopefully, we will qualify for the AFCON. And uh, we're hoping not to exert too many of our players for those two games and focus more on the World Cup qualifiers. But now, we have to make sure everyone is in tip-top shape and ready to go in March for those qualifiers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. And Sudan, congratulations. You deserve it. You were great, amazing, deserved winners. Tenacity, relentlessness, unrelenting in the end. And they paid off for them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments box. Enjoy your day.